The Watchtower is locked down in Justice League issue 22. The Watchtower is put under quarantine again this week as the team deal with a species of alien insect that was accidentally brought on board when the Green Lanterns arrive back after they saved Earth from a meteor. The issue also saw to expand on Simon and Jessica's rookie status on the team and their need to train more and be more mindful of their surroundings. Lois and John, who were visiting Clark and getting a story for the Daily Planet, are also involved and actually help the team members out a bit. The great thing here is that they actually treat them like family and are part of the team. We also see them deal with problems without resorting to the alien life form dying, since it is revealed that the space ants are really just trying to defend themselves from unknown enemies that they think are trying to kill them and are just scared, meaning the League can relocate them away from harm later on. Justice League issue 22 was a massive step up from the hitch run on the book. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this is kind of like a one-off thing again since we are returning to Hitch on writing and art soon. It's a shame because this one issue that Shia Fontana wrote uh, added so many great little character moments for these characters and up until now they've kind of been used as only a tool to tell basically what is the same story over and over again through Brian Hitch's run which is sort of like this weird there's always time travel involved and everything and, and all these big blockbuster action scenes and everything and they're all kind of felt, felt the same whereas this felt kind of different because it was secluded and allowed you to get to know the characters a little bit more and see them interact with one another which was really great. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video. Yeah.